Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up in this week's show. It's leading jockey Tevin Foster winning for champion trainer Jason Da Costa in the weekend's Winston Fanner Griffiths OD Classic at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. The final handicap featuring Barbados to the fast finishing nine year old Renaissance Frolic, upsetting more fancied rivals in the five and a half furlong sprint. And only the first weekend of the Sunshine Meet at Florida's Gulfstream Park, and already champion trainer Safi Joseph Jr. from Barbados opens his stakes winning account. Plus the regular check-in on the number of Caribbean wins in North America. We're kicking things off in Jamaica. Where eight runners contested Sunday's Winston Griffiths Classic at Caymanus Park, the fourth staging of the event honoring the retired Hall of Fame rider who has an all-time best 1,663 wins in Caricom horse racing, including a world record 44 classic wins. All eyes on the four horse, the D-Syndicate's Captain Sparrow from the Anthony Nunes barn with champion jockey Ryan Lewis aboard. The three-year-old colt for the first time out since his close-up third place finish in the Jamaica Derby last month. There are the odds. The number one horse come home to me fourth in the Jamaica Oaks in her last outing, a four to one bet. Captain Sparrow is a big one to two favorite, eyeing a third win this year. Number five, Brenda Boy, second in his last two starts, is at eight to one. And the seven horse Provident, third in the 2000 Guineas, is the three to one second favorite in the Combox. Kevin Burnside watching come home to me's front running bid for victory with title chasing jockey Tevin Foster aboard. Come home to me is still keeping them at bay about two lengths in front of sent down in second allegiance. I'm a backing out of it. Here comes Brenda Boy rushing up coming on the outside of, of that one. That looks to be provident but it is still come home to me on a two length lead from racing in second allegiance collegiance now try to get to come home to me brenda boy is running a big one back there in third also coming on that's provident it's still it's still come home to me trying to take them pillow to post come home to me sprinting clear is about four lengths in front allegiance laboring back into second come home to me begins to sprout wings and come home to me is begin to pull away and looks this one looks all one come home to me will win the winston fanner griffiths the classic come home to me beats allegiance a textbook gate to wire ride by tevin foster has come home to me widens her lead in deep stretch while snapping a nine race winless run this year that included a runner-up finish in the 1000 guineas foster completing three weekend wins as his steady form continues he has not had a winless race day since mid-july and stands just eight wins shino of 100 wins for the season Foster leads the title race by five over Radish Roman. Groom Garth Pennant on a roll two with his third big race win in recent weeks, following scores with Fun Can't Done in the She's a Man Eater and distinctly Irish trophy races. Elizabeth Da Costa's Come Home to Me, trained by her champion son Jason Da Costa. The first win this for the three year old Phyllis since October last year, and only her second win in 14 career starts, impressively landing the Winston Griffiths OD Classic by six and a quarter lengths at four to one odds. Chased by Allegiance and Brenda Boy, the favorite Captain Sparrow seventh, two minutes, 3.48 seconds, the winning time for nine and a half furlongs. For the weekend's Winston Griffiths Jockeys Championship, the pair of Paul Francis and O'Shea Nugent emerged winners. The A King Is Born duo they were, a winning 25 points, Francis and Nugent tallied in the competition, featuring teams bearing names of some top Winston Griffiths mounts of the past. The first prize for them, 400,000 Jamaican dollars. That's about 2,500 US. Francis leading the way with four wins, including a Sunday triple. The Royal Dad team of Robert Hallidine and Philip Parchment placed second with 22 points. Third to Legal Lights, Ryan Lewis and Shaman Townsend. Placing fourth, the Eros team of O'Neill Mullings and visiting jock Arnaldo Boca Chica, who won Sunday's Kenneth Mattis OD Memorial co-feature aboard the head cornerstone. Two Barbados now on Saturday's close of the second season of racing, featuring the final handicap. Build has a clash between the speedsters Dominus and Zazie, coming off a mid-July five furlong track record run in the Ginger Lily handicap. Zazie and the six horse Sosua both going for a hat trick of wins at the garrison. Here is Dean Springer with a race call. Dominus is explodes from the gate and opens up a length and a half from on the outside Zazie. Then comes Renaissance Frolics or Jimmy next then. They're so suave behind these. 
It is Zaid and brilliant news blew the start and it's about nine lengths of drift of the field as around the far turn. They head up the hill, they've just got over three for long to go. And Doris has not seen a rival from the off. On the outside of him, Zazi tried to get closer. And then there is on the outside of her comes Renaissance for like a break of five to slow swamps or Jimmy, Zaid and a long way back to brilliant news. The opening quarter twenty-five and two as they come inside the quarter pole. And it is Dominus on the inside, on the outside. Here comes Zazi to ask a question. And there are no more turns this season. And Dominus is still in command on the outside. Here is Zazi trying to close on the inside. Renaissance Frolic is torment of the rails. Storms by, picks him up, puts him away, puts him down. Renaissance Frolic. The 20 year old St. Lucian rider Aaron Daniel in the white caps skillfully rouses Renaissance Frolic to a winning finish. His First time aboard the nine-year-old gelding in a race, reeling in his stablemate and favorite Dominus for the victory. Sir David Seals' Renaissance Frolic, a multiple stakes winner in the USA, cops his fourth win in Barbados, but champion trainer Andrew Nunes, Aaron Daniel, the top apprentice and champion jockey as well for the Barbados' second season of racing. Renaissance Frolic has a 7-2 bet, lands the final handicap by two and three quarter lengths over the odds-on favorite Dominus with So Suave third, the 3-1 second favorite Zazi finishing fourth. 104.40 the winning time for five and a half furlongs. Barbados racing now on a break until the third season of racing starts on the 1st of November. Still with the Barbados team because Safid Joseph Jr., who learnt the business at the Garrison Savannah, remains the most consistent newsmaker in this weekly At The Track show. Fresh from completing a 10th consecutive trainer's title at Gulfstream Park, the very first stakes race of the new Sunshine Meat season at the Florida racetrack went to his barn. Safi's entry, Our Morning Brew, was a 2 to 1 second favorite in Saturday's Florida Sire Desert Vixen Stakes for two year old fillies over six furlongs. And she was taken to the front early by champion jockey Edgar Zaz, watched in the com box by champion race caller Peter Yellow. They round the far turn now. Our Morning Brew has inside position, wiggle and wine, giving her all she wants on the outside. Racing in third is this big favorite win, and you're in. Glory Glory is underway at an upset price. Two and a half to Don't Fool With Me. Dropping back now is Be A Queen and Slew Diva as they race to the top of the stretch. Our Morning Brew held together by Zayas and still in front. From between horses, Wiggle and Wine. Outside win, and you're in. Far outside, Glory Glory. Less than a quarter of a mile to come in the desert. Vixen and Our Morning Brew. She's got a kick and leads by two and a half. Win, and you're in, and Wiggle and Wine wondered what happened as it's the black and white express on their way to a desert fix and win our morning brew dominant in victory to win by five our morning brew kicks away from her field for the imposing win in the florida sire desert vixen in the hands of edgar zas a caribbean one two finish here jamaican trainer jose pinchins wiggle and wine second five and a half lengths behind the winner who clocks 110.85 for the six furlong sprint one of three winners on the afternoon for sapi joseph jr who already leads the new season with a whopping six wins on opening weekend. Safi also had three wins at Kentucky Downs in the past week. Our weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now. Before we go in the past week, since our last show, I've counted 79 victories. Among them, the Barbadian Rashid Hughes, who rode a magnificent four-time run Friday at Century Mile. The Jamaican trainer Ricardo Bailey had three wins at Thistledown. Top jockey Patrick Husbands had three wins at Woodbine where fellow Barbadian Juan Crawford had a win, plus two victories at Fort Erie. And TNT's Pravin Badri had three wins to remain the clear number one rider at Assiniboia Downs. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.